the decisive, uncompromising statement of the Lord concerning a Christian's attitude towards evil is found in the following quote, which is sometimes difficult for those who poorly understand the essence of Christianity. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Here the Lord clearly beckons Christians to fight, to fight for God's truth against demonic evil. The great fathers of the church, in following our Lord and teacher, took the same uncompromising position of Christianity towards evil, and certainly made no peace with evil, unlike the preaching of contemporary false teachers. Alas, some of them even teach from the heights of church pulpits and patriarchal thrones. St. Gregory the Theologian, a man of peace to the extreme, even relinquished his Episcopal throne in Constantinople in the name of peace, serving as an example to emulate for our contemporary hierarchs, especially those who now sit on his throne, the ecumenical patriarch. St. Gregory taught, The greatest good is peace. It is beautiful in both word and deed. Peace is of God. God is peace. And God is called peace. He continues, At the same time, we must not value just any peace, for disagreement can appear pleasant, and some types of unity are very ruinous. One should love only a good peace, which has a good goal and unites with God. When it is clear that what is at hand is impious or dishonest, then it is better to go into the fire, the sword, and not go along with the demands of the times and rulers, rather than become a participant in an evil leaven and part of an infection. There is nothing worse than to fear something more than God, and over this fear become instead of a servant of truth, a traitor to the teaching of truth and faith. Truly, these are golden words. How many follow them in our times? These words of one of the greatest hierarchs of Christ's church are a perfect, worthy answer to our contemporary propagandists of an evil peace and a ruinous unity, as well as their sowers of false teachings and proclaimers of peaceful coexistence with demonic evil. Are you familiar with these words, all of you, who, for the sake of a career and money, will go along with the demands of the times and godless leaders in betraying the truth? Fear and tremble, for nothing is more horrible than this kind of betrayal. 